So this is one of the main focuses of my painting, this ball here. So I'm taking a little bit of extra time with this one, um, making sure that the colors are just right. And since I'm not using masking in this painting, for my wet into wet, I am leaving this space right here in the center dry. So when I'm doing my wet into wet, it flows right up to it, but not over it. And it's actually a huge rip in the baseball that I just thought was so cool. So I am leaving more of this ball white or uh, without too much paint on it because I am going to be putting a lot more detail on this one and I want to make sure all the colors are exactly in the right spots because um, I want this one to be more of a focal point. So I'm keeping that in mind right from the beginning even when I'm doing these really large washes. I really, I got the bin of baseballs from my son's baseball coach and immediately I knew that this one had to be in it. It just has this huge tear right through the center and it just looks like somebody smacked this one out of the park. Like, just tore it, right, hit it so hard it tore it right open. And I love it, I love the detail and the character it has so I was pretty excited right from the beginning to add this one to the painting. So just being more aware of going around certain areas because this one will have a lot more detail than some of the other balls. Make sure I have my edge is good. It helps that it's wet into wet, but it's so easy to just go right over onto one of the other edges that you definitely don't want to do. And of course, all the lace detail will go in much later. This one, the lighting on it is really great, so I want to make sure I capture that. The seams are highlighted just right to really make them pop. So I really want to make sure I get that 3D effect on this ball. Really make it just pop off the page. And of course, I'll add a ton more detail and things like that as I go. But the more that I get in in these first washes, the easier it is as I'm moving along. And the less I have to put in in future washes. This one gets pretty dark over on this side, so let that all flow into each other in the beginning. Makes it a lot easier. If you've seen the pictures of this entire painting, it is enormous. So the whole painting is 29 and a half by 41 inches, which is the biggest one I have done to this date. So I'm having a lot of fun starting at this huge scale and working down and adding more and more detail as it gets smaller. So 
So I think that's about all I want to do for these first washes. I might just add a little bit of shadow under this because it's really sticking up from there. Really make it pop in the end. So I'll add that shadow under while it's all wet and flowy. And of course I'll go back and add a lot more detail at the end. But just to get those original nice washes in make a big difference. Alright, there we go.